any king. Mr Chairman, I would really appreciate the minister in the chair answering three questions. Why have we got this policy? Why now? And why is it being imposed retrospectively? Because from the position on this side of the House, this is a sneaky, grubby little move by a money-grubbing government. A dirty little secret that they kept right up until they tabled a bill in this House to be passed under urgency with no consultation with the public of New Zealand, particularly older New Zealanders. A nasty little secret that they did not, did not have the fortitude to tell New Zealanders about before, the, before this budget. Why not? Why did they not have the fortitude to tell the older people of New Zealand? Why not consult with grey power? Ask an organisation that represents hundreds of thousands of New Zealanders whether they supported this move. Well, I can tell the people who are listening, this will be the thin edge of the wedge for older New Zealanders because I've seen it all before. It was a national party that brought in asset testing. It was a national party that made promises to older New Zealanders and broke them. And now we have them bringing back a sneaky little deal to undermine services and support for older New Zealanders done under urgency and no consultation. And maybe those who are listening would also like to know that the rates rebate scheme has been frozen in this budget. They might, yes, frozen in the funding in this budget. Didn't tell the public about that. And they might not like to know that there will be no funding to tell people about the rate rebate scheme. So don't keep them in the dark. Don't tell the older folk that there's something that could help them. Keep it hidden. And that is the thin edge of the wedge for me. This is an agenda that is going to attack those who are the most vulnerable. And as you heard from Ruth Dyson, who was the minister who introduced the legislation that changed the regime for asset testing so that it could be phased out over a period of time? As she said, older people in New Zealand are staying in rest homes on average 18 months. Now, it wasn't that long ago people were going into rest homes and could be there between 8 and 10 years. Today they stay longer at home without the support they ought to have, and that's been cut, yep. and they spend a very short time in rest homes. And so this government, in a sneaky way, wants to penalise them. I also want to say what a superficial regulatory impact statement we received from the Ministry of Health, and I'm incredibly disappointed in their regulatory impact statement. If you read the first page of it, are they worried about older people? No, the first thing they're worried about is it won't impose significant additional cost on business. It won't, it won't impair their property rights or the market competition. It will only provide minor costs on providers um, because they have to inform patients. Where is the, in the front of this regulatory impact statement concern about the older people? Why is it about business? Have they become so devoid of caring about the people in this society that when they write a regulatory impact statement, it has more to do about how it suits business than the older people? And then you look at the consultation. What consultation took place on this bill? Well, they talked to themselves, they talked to the Ministry of Social Development and the Treasury. But of course, they had to maintain budget secrecy over this. We're talking about 4.5 million in the first year. They had to have budget secrecy over that. That's why they couldn't consult. Mr Chairman, that is a nonsense. They could have gone out and found out how it affected people. So then when you look at if there's going to be any monitoring, evaluation or review of it, no, there's going to be none at all. There's going to be no look to see what impact this has on older New Zealanders. I am incredibly disappointed in this government once again attacking the most vulnerable of people, our older people who by the very nature, the fact they're in a rest home means they're vulnerable. They are not there unless they really are in the final twilight years of their lives. And then to bring in this measure under urgency, secretly, is despicable, Mr Chairman, despicable. And on this side of the House, we oppose the way they are going about it. This is not what you do to New Zealanders who have worked so hard in their lives to support the rest of us.
I call the Honourable Member 